G'day folks, it's Cortezarino, and today I'm going to show you how to build this Japanese blacksmith. And this blacksmith is pretty small, so it shouldn't take you too long to build at all. Now the interesting thing about Japanese blacksmiths is that from the outside, it's pretty hard to tell that it's actually a blacksmith. So what I've done with this design is I've got it nice and open. So you can see the forge from the outside and so we've got a really detailed interior. So we've got our forge with a vent above and then over here we've got a little recessed working area so our blacksmith can sit there and work in his forge and not have to be bending over all the time. And this is how the build looks without shaders and you can find a full materials list in the video description. Okay, let's get started. To begin, we're going to build the foundation of the house. And for this, we're just using a random mixture of stone and stone bricks. So you can build a rectangle that is 11 blocks by 13. And just be mindful that you'll need an extra three blocks of space on all sides. Okay, come along to one of the longer sides. So this is the 13 block long side. And this is going to be the front of our building. So we're going to come along to the second block in from the corner and I'm going to place a stone brick slab, then two stone slabs and two stone brick slabs. Now we'll swing around to the right hand side. Once again, starting on the second block in, we'll do our stone brick slab, then a stone and then two stone brick slabs. Now just in this corner here, what we're going to do is a stone stair and then two stone brick stairs wrapping around the corner. Now we're just going to continue all the way around with our stairs, just doing a random mixture of stone brick and stone stairs. Okay, so once you've run the stairs all the way around, come back to the front and in the front right hand corner, we're going to place a sea lantern. Now this won't be visible, so you could use any light emitting block that you like. It doesn't have to be a sea lantern. Next to that, we're going to go one, two, three, stone, then another sea lantern, then we'll do a stone block, and one, two, three, four, spruce planks, then another stone block. Now on the right hand side, starting next to the sea lantern, we'll do two stone, then a sea lantern, and then run stone all the way to the end. For the back wall, we're just going to run stone all the way along here, then turn the corner again, we'll do two stone, then two dark oak planks, and then stone all the way along. So that's how you should look when you're done. Okay, come along to each corner, and on top of the stone block in the corners, I want you to place a barrel just facing straight up. So do one in each corner, and then right in the middle of those, we're going to do another barrel. So we're leaving, whoops, we don't want it like that. We want it straight up. So we're leaving a one, two, three, four, five block gap before we're placing our next barrel. So once you've done that, I've done it again. There we go. Once you've done that on every side for the barrels in the corners, we're going to add two stripped spruce with a stone block on top. So do that for each corner. And then for every other barrel, we're just gonna add three stripped spruce. Okay, looking from the front again, we're gonna come along to this pillar on the left. And just diagonally in from that, we're going to place another stripped spruce. And this will be three blocks tall with a stone block on top. And we're also going to do that for the back two corners. So just diagonally in from that one, we'll do our pillar with the stone block. And diagonally in from that corner as well. But we're not doing it in this corner where the sea lantern is. Okay, looking from the front again, we're going to come to the inside and turn to the right. And just next to that sea lantern, we'll place one, two, three spruce planks. Turn to your right again. Next to that sea lantern, we'll do another three. Then you can turn to your right again, grab dark oak planks, and we're going to go one, two, three, skip a block, and one, two, three. Then you can turn to your right, we'll do another two dark oak planks, then one, two, three, four, five stone, 
two dark oak planks, turn to your right again, and we'll finish with three dark oak. Okay, now we're going to come over to the back wall, and in the middle of these five stone blocks, we're going to place two stone blocks, and then on each side, two stripped spruce, and each side of that, two spruce planks. Then across the top, we'll run five stone blocks, and then we'll place another five on top. Okay, grab some white concrete and come along to this pillar in the front corner. What we're going to do is from the side of that stone block, we're going to run white concrete until we get to the stone block in this corner. When you get there, just turn the corner and keep going. And what we're going to do is just a big lap around the building. So that's how it should look when you're done with the concrete going all the way around. Then what we're going to do is underneath every block of white concrete, we're going to add a spruce trapdoor. And once you've finished running them all the way around, we're also going to connect our sea lanterns with spruce trapdoors. So place five along there, then turn the corner and place another three. Then on this wall, we're going to place four spruce trapdoors all flicked up. And we're also going to do that all the way along the back wall. And then you can turn the corner and also do the same thing right here. And once you've put all of those in, grab your white concrete again, come to the back wall. We're going to place two right there and then another two right there. And staying on our back wall right in the middle, we're going to place a stone block with an extra two stone blocks on each side. Then grab deep slate coal ore and we're going to place two in the middle there with an extra two each side and then just two deep slate blocks like so. And then you can surround those with mud brick walls. Now on the left hand side of that, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six stripped spruce logs. And on the right hand side, we're going to start with a stone block. And then on top of that, we're going to add one, two, three, four, five spruce. Then you can do a cross beam just above our mud brick and then continue that all the way to the edge. And then you can turn around, face the front wall and starting next to that stone block, we're going to run stripped spruce logs all the way along until we finish right there. Then you can turn the corner, continue running your spruce as far as you can go. And then also on this side, starting next to the stone block, run your spruce all the way along. Now turn back to the back wall. Right in the middle here, we'll put a polished andesite block. And then we're just going to run mud brick walls across all the stripped spruce that we just placed. So we're doing that in a great big rectangle all the way around till we finish back at our andesite. And then what you can also do if you want to, though it's probably not necessary, you can replace that stone block with a piece of stripped spruce. Now come back to the outside and starting from the front, we're going to turn to the left hand side, grab some spruce planks and we're looking at this dark oak here. On each end of the dark oak, we're going to add two spruce planks and then we're going to place bamboo trapdoors in the middle. And over here, we're going to do the same thing. So two spruce planks and another two and then two bamboo trapdoors. Now come around to the back wall, we're going to place two bamboo trapdoors right there and another two right here. On this side we'll do the same thing, so two trapdoors and another two right there. Then you can swing around to this wall, grab your spruce planks again, we'll place two right there and then we'll place two bamboo trapdoors against it and another two on that side. Okay, grab some polished deep slate stairs, come to the outside and we're going to place two upside down against that stone block with a spruce trap door in between. And we're going to do that in every single corner. Okay, now grab some polished deep slate slabs and starting from the stair, we're going to skip a block and then place a slab. And we're going to continue to do that until we reach the other stair. And then in between those, we're going to place our spruce trap doors. And we're going to do the same thing on every single wall. And then grab your sea lanterns or whichever light emitting block that you're using and just run around the building placing one on each spruce trapdoor. And then in between our sea lanterns, we're just going to place stone blocks. And once you've built that all the way around, 
Just inside of that rectangle, we're going to do another rectangle entirely of stone. So just run this all the way around the building. And staying with our stone blocks, come along to the back wall and we're going to place three stone in that gap there and another three in that gap. Now look over to your corner and diagonally in from that sea lantern, we're going to place two strip spruce and then we'll do the same thing in that corner right there. And we'll also do the same thing up the front. So just diagonally in from your sea lantern, two strip spruce. Now on the front wall, I want you to count in five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Then on block number six, we're going to place another two strip spruce. For the back wall, it'll be a bit different. So one, two, three, four, five. And then on block number six, we're going to place a campfire with a stripped spruce. Now, if you come along to our side walls, we're going to count in one, two, three, four. Then on block number five, we'll do a stripped spruce with a stone block. And we'll do the exact same thing on this wall. Okay, grab your white concrete again. And what we're going to do now is just connect all of our little pillars we just built with two layers of white concrete. So just run this all the way around. Okay, once that's done, come to the inside of the building and look at your front wall. What we're gonna do is just above our mud brick walls, we're gonna add stripped spruce running all the way along. And then we're just going to do another line of it just in front. And then we're gonna come down one, two, three, four, five blocks on top of that of our mud brick walls and another five strip spruce there. And then we'll do a single line of it all the way across the end, like so. Okay, staying on the inside, look at this stone block in the wall. Just in front of that, we're gonna place another stone block with spruce planks each side and stone blocks each side of that. And look over to the other wall. And on this side, we're going to do the exact same thing and then grab strip spruce and we're just going to run it from our stone blocks all the way along until we connect to the stone blocks on the other side and then just grab some sea lanterns and place one right here and one right here that's just to stop mobs from spawning up here and now you can come along to one of the side walls and what I built here, copy the exact same thing to the other side. So on top of this stone block, we're going to place one, two, three, four strip spruce. And then on top of the stone block in front, we'll place three spruce with a sea lantern on top. And then each side of that, we're going to add another one, two, three strip spruce. So go ahead and build the same thing on this side. And once again, what I build on this side, I want you to copy the same thing to the other side. So starting down here, we're going to place two stone and then another stone on top of the spruce with an upside down spruce stair against it. We'll do a stone block on top and another upside down spruce stair with a stone block on top of that. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So stone stair with a stone block on top. You can cover the side of the sea lantern with a spruce trap door and we'll place a stone block on top of that. Now come to the inside and starting on top of the spruce planks, we'll go one, two, three white concrete and another three on that side. On top of those, we're going to do two concrete and then a single on top of that. Okay, come back down to this line of sea lanterns and stone that we have. And against the side of every single sea lantern, we're going to be placing deep slate tile blocks. And once you've run those all the way around, just in between them, we're going to be placing deep slate brick blocks and make sure you also place one in each corner. And then you can grab some deep slate brick slabs and just against the bottom half of all those blocks that we just placed, run a line of these all the way around. Okay, now come along to the back wall and right next to our campfire, we're going to place a polished andesite block with two andesite walls on top and then a polished andesite slab. Then go back to your deep slate brick slabs and in each corner here, I just want you to place three of them. So we're placing them on top of the stone and the sea lantern. And then what we're gonna do is on top of every stone block you can see here, 
just place another deep slate brick slab. And then once you've finished that, we're going to switch to deep slate tile slabs. And we're just going to cover up every single sea lantern. Okay, come along to one of the shorter walls and against that stone block, we're going to place an upside down spruce stair. And on each side, we're going to be skipping a block and placing an extra two. And that will be exactly the same up this side as well. For the front and the back walls, we're just going to be placing them against the white concrete. So start one block in from the edge, place your upside down spruce stair and just place one every second block. And you can go ahead and do the exact same thing on the back wall. And once you've done that, we're going to be placing deep slate tile slabs in between. In the corners, we'll be placing three slabs like that. But just go ahead and run this all the way around. And once you've placed all of those, just in front here, we're going to be placing deep slate brick slabs all the way around. And just go ahead and run these in front of our chimney. Now come along to this stone triangle on each side. And what I built here, I want you to copy the same thing to the other side. So grab deep slate brick stairs and we're going to place one, two, three like that. And on this side, one, two, three. Then after that, we're going to go deep slate brick, then a deep slate brick slab and another deep slate brick. And we'll do the same here. So brick, slab and brick. And then I want you to look at it from this side, grab some deep slate tiles and we're going to cover up every block of stone. So place deep slate tile blocks against each stone block. Once you've done that, we're going to place a deep slate tile slab there and another one right there. We'll do the same on this side. So one there and one right there. And then we're just going to run our tile slabs all the way across the bottom like so. So build that on the other side as well. Okay, come along to the front of the building and just next to that white concrete, we're going to place a deep slate tile block and then run these all the way along. Now grab deep slate tile slabs. We're going to place one on the spruce stair. Just behind that, we'll do another slab, just half a slab up. And then a third one right there. And we're going to continue to do that all the way along, just placing the first one on the spruce stair. And once you've done that, we're just going to place a slab in between each of those. So that's how you should look when you're done. Build the same thing on the other side. And the only difference is on this side, you'll have that chimney poking up right there. So once again, what I build on this side, I want you to copy the same thing to the other side. So look at these first three stone blocks. Against each of those, we're going to place a deep slate tile block. And then next to those blocks, we're going to place three deep slate tile stairs. And then we're just going to continue to do that. So we'll place three blocks with three stairs next to it and just keep going until you've filled in the roof. Okay, once you've built that up on each side, come up to the top here and against the top half of that spruce, we're going to place deep slate tile slabs all the way along. Then on top of the spruce, we're going to place a deep slate tile block and we're going to place one every second block all the way along. And in between those, we're going to place deep slate tile walls. Now grab a deep slate brick slab starting right there. We're just going to run these all the way along across the top like so. Okay, that's our roof all done. So I want you to come to the front of the building and just in line with our three barrels, what we're going to do is skip a grass block and then place an andesite wall on the second one. So do that in front of each barrel. And then you can come around to the back wall and we will do the exact same thing. The side walls will be different because we're not placing one in front of the middle barrel. We're just doing it on the two barrels on each end. So go ahead and do that. And once you've done that, grab some spruce fences and on top of every andesite wall, we're just going to build the fence all the way up to the roof. And once you've placed all of those, grab some spruce fence gates and just underneath our roof, we're going to run them all the way along. When you get to a corner, place a spruce fence and hang a lantern from it. But then you can turn the corner and keep going. 
Okay, now you can come back to the front of the building and just underneath this middle andesite wall, we're going to dig out that block and place a cobblestone in there. And we'll do the same for those two blocks. Then we'll also dig out one, two, three, four. And those three, we're going to place a tough block there and another tough block and then just place cobblestone in the rest. And then on this side, we're going to knock out one, two, three, four, five blocks. We'll also do those two and that one. I'll place a tough block, then two cobble, two more tough, and cobble in the rest. Now for a bit of decoration, I'm just going to throw some grass down there. And then over here, we'll do a scaffolding with a lantern. And then come over to this side next to the cobble. We'll do a campfire there. Look in this direction. We'll do another and you can put those out. Okay, now we can come to the inside. And on the back left corner, we're going to place a stone block on the ground there with an andesite block in front. And then skipping a block, we'll place another andesite block there. Then we'll look to our right, place a stone brick stair then an andesite stair, then looking in this direction again, we're going to place one, two, three andesite with an extra two in front. Now grab some stone blocks, we're going to place one, two, three, four, then we're going to come forward two and place one, two, three, just like that. So you might want to pause the video here and copy those in. Once you've done that, grab a campfire, we're going to dig out that middle block, place our campfire in with a magma block above it, and another one on the left. And then on the right, you've got an option. So I like the look of gilded blackstone. It's uh, just meant to be some hot embers lying on the bricks there, but that can be hard to get. So you can, of course, use deep slate gold ore. It has the same effect, or you could use redstone ore. But if you have the gilded blackstone, I think it looks better. Okay, I want you to place a sea lantern right there with light gray carpet on top. And then we'll also dig out that block, place in a sea lantern with our gray carpet. Then you can dig out these four blocks and we're going to place tough inside of there. And for the rest of the floor, we're just going to use a light gray concrete powder. So just go ahead and fill all of this in. Okay, now we can look over to our back wall. I want you to place a lever right there and you can flick it down, hold shift. We're going to hang a chain from it and a lantern from that. And on this side, we're going to do the exact same thing. And then next to that polished andesite block, we're going to place a block of andesite, then a polished andesite stair right way up with a polished andesite block underneath. Now underneath that, just place a temporary block and careful not to burn your feet on the magma. We're going to look toward the front of our building and against the temporary block, we'll put a polished andesite stair with an extra one each side, all right way up. Then next to it on this side, I'll do an andesite stair and then a polished stair and another one. We'll do an andesite stair there and then finish with a polished one on that side. And you can break your temporary block and then I'll put a piece of glow lichen up there. Okay, grab a spruce fence. We're going to place one right there with two chains hanging from it. And on this side, we're going to place one in the exact same spot. And then we'll place two more spruce fences there. And we're also going to hang two chains from them. So they're just holding up our vent. Now we're just going to surround our forge. So just in front of that first magma block, we'll do an andesite stair. And then looking from this direction in the same spot, we'll do another. And then next to that one, we'll do one, two andesite slabs, then a polished andesite slab, then one, two, three andesite, and then finish with another polished slab. Alrighty, we're going to build a sword stand over here. So just on top of that andesite block, looking in the same direction I am, place your armor stand right there. Just next to that, we're going to place two chains and then we're going to place two pistons and place a redstone block there to push the chains into the armor stand. Now, just above it, we're going to place a temporary block with a lightning rod, and then you can break your temporary block. 
And just to the right of our sword stand, we're going to place a dark oak trapdoor against the dark oak planks. And then we'll place another one against the top spruce planks there. Then you can place an item frame on the wall, put some shears in it and turn it so it's facing down. So that just looks like some tongs for working in the forge. Now just below that, we're going to place a cauldron with a water bucket, an anvil next to it, and then in the corner, a smithing table. And to make a chair for our blacksmith, we'll put some scaffolding right there with brown carpet on top and a flower pot next to it. And then look over to this corner here and we'll place down another chair. So scaffolding with brown carpet. And then looking in this direction, we'll place a grindstone right there. Okay, at the moment, our blacksmith is going to be robbed at night because he's got no way to lock up the building. So we're going to place in some sliding doors. So on the left hand side here, place an oak trap door there and flick it down. And we'll do another one on that side. Then come to the inside, looking out on top of the spruce, we'll place an oak door there. And on top of the spruce there, we'll place another oak door. Then holding shift, we're going to place three birch trap doors on each side. And then you can flick all of those down. And for some sliding doors on this side, grab a spruce door. Stand right here, place it there and then close it. And then we'll put a spruce trap door above that. And over here we'll do the same thing. So look in this direction, place your door and close it. And another spruce trap door. So just imagine that it sort of folds out and he can pull it all the way across. And that is it. That is your Japanese blacksmith. 100% complete. So make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'm Cortez Arena and I'll see you next time.